Got the team sundown motor here in our magnetizer. For people that aren't familiar with the magnetizer, there's a huge coil of copper wire running through this uh, fiberglass box here. We sit the magnet in there. A huge pulse of energy sent from our machine over here. There's a bunch of capacitors down there in the bottom. But uh, anyway, you can see on our little handy Gauss meter here that uh, right now there is pretty much nothing going on here. So we're going to charge it with the magnetizer. So I'm going to see if that fully charged it for us here. So we're going to put the probe back in there. Independent position. We're getting around 5,000. Let's put it on peak cold and see what we get there. So 5455 current peak cold. I'm gonna reset it. We're gonna hit it again just in case. So we'll go back. We'll check this out. So We'll say it was pretty much charged completely the first time. And uh, keep in mind for anybody that might be familiar with the Gauss reading that that is 5,500 Gauss across the top plate that is two inches tall. So when you're calculating BL, it's a factor not only of the B field, which is what we're measuring here, but the L, which is the number of windings in the gap from the coil. Whereas a lot of motors have a top plate about half this thick. So we're literally going to have double the L of a similar design with a thinner top plate. So there you have it. That's the charging of a Team Sundown motor. Well, technically the Team Sundown's a nickname. We're going to change it, but that's what I'm calling it right now.